Alright you guys, welcome back for another racing video. Today's video, it's all about semi-aquatic animal speed races. Animals that spend part of their time in the water are called semi-aquatic animals, and they are the following. Dole, Greater Flamingo, Greater Flamingo, Jaguar, Moose, and the North American Beaver. Let the race begin. Animals that spend part of their time in the water are called semi-aquatic animals. Semi-aquatic animals have many adaptations to help them live both on land and underwater. For example, they have a layer of fat under their skin for insulation when they are in cold water. They also have webbed feet which allow them to swim more easily than other mammals with paws or claw. The dole is a type of wild dog that lives in Southeast Asia and India. They are excellent swimmers and can stay underwater for up to three minutes. They use their swimming abilities to hunt prey like deer, boars, and even monkeys. Flamingos live in the warm, shallow waters of Africa and South America. They are well adapted to living around water because they can float easily due to special bones that act as ballast. Their webbed feet also help them swim better than other birds. The jaguar is the largest cat in the Americas. It lives in rainforests and other dense forests, but it can also swim across rivers to hunt prey. Jaguars have a thick coat of fur that helps keep them warm when they are swimming or diving. A moose is a type of deer that lives in the northern hemisphere. It has big feet and long legs, which help it to swim when moving from land into water or vice versa. Beavers live in the northern hemisphere. They spend most of their time in the water, building dams and lodges out of wood to protect themselves from predators. However, they can swim underwater for up to 15 minutes at a time using their bushy tails as rudders. And the winner is the moose. The moose is not in danger. In most of its range, populations are stable. However, in some areas, unsustainable hunting and habitat destruction has reduced and fragmented their numbers to a suboptimal level. Thanks for watching.